away. You've all heard that sound. Mosquitoes. They should be wiped out. Or should they? They're out there. They're hiding. They're watching you. Queensland backyard bugs and birds. Mosquitoes are a part of nature's system. Wiping out a species of mosquito could leave a plant without a pollinator or a predator without prey. As part of their useful role, the larvae of mosquitoes live in water and provides food for fish and other wildlife, including larger larvae and other species such as dragonflies. Mosquitoes have a relatively quick life cycle and the larvae could emerge as an adult within a week. They need organic matter in the water to feed, so a bucket with a dead fly or a few leaves is enough for that. As it gets cooler, there'll be a decline in numbers as they don't like to breed in cold water. The mosquito life cycle begins with the adult mosquitoes mating. It only mates once as the sperm packet introduced by a male during the mating act is sufficient for the female to fertilize all batches of eggs she subsequently produces. The female requires blood so she can get the iron and the raw protein in the blood necessary to lay eggs. Contrary to popular belief, they don't drink blood because they need it for their daily sustenance. Without any of these nutrients, they wouldn't be able to reproduce. The mosquito punctures the skin with six tiny needles. Two of them hold the tissue apart while one finds a viable vein to drink from. Mosquitoes are attracted to a warm-blooded host by a combination of factors. Carbon dioxide, a product of respiration, is an important attractant, as are various body odours and chemicals such as lactic acid. The female lays her eggs in a pond, a bird bath or any empty container that gathers water which we leave lying around. Some species lay their eggs as single units and deposit them on moist substrate such as rock surfaces or under debris and in crevices in soil and dry mud. When it rains, they'll be subsequently flooded. These eggs are able to survive long periods until they are submerged by water, at which time they begin to hatch. I dried out some fine gravel after having larvae and pupae in the tank, in which adults visited. I left it for a few days, then added water, and after only a few hours, very small larvae begin to appear. I call these wrigglers. Other species lay eggs in clusters or rafts that float on the surface and as the larvae hatch they float free. Most larvae feed on microscopic organisms in the water and bottom detritus, either by filtering water through their mouth brushes or grazing with specially adapted mouth appendages. I'm not sure who is studying who. The larvae breathe air from openings, or spiracles, at the tail end of their body, generally through a structure termed a siphon. They hang below the water surface with only the tip of the siphon exposed to the air, and they glide around just like they're flying. They can remain motionless on the bottom for some time, but need to return to the surface for air to prevent suffocation. The larvae's heart system is different to humans, but you can see its pulse. The time for development through the larval stages varies, but generally four to 10 days, depending on the conditions. The larvae's thorax becomes larger as it nears pupation. After the fourth larval instar completes its development, it molts into a non-feeding but highly mobile stage called the pupa. Within the body casing of the pupa, the immature tissues are breaking down and adult tissues are forming. The pupa on the right is more advanced than the one on the left, the darker of the two. The pupa breathes through a pair of tube-like organs or trumpets situated at the head end of the comma-shaped body. Once the adult tissues have developed and it's time for emergence, the pupa swims to the surface and stretches itself out full length 
the pupal skin splits along the back, the adult mosquito emerges above the water surface. After emerging from the pupil casing, the adult mosquito rests on the water surface for a short time to allow its wings and body to dry, before flying off in search of nourishment and a mate. Male mosquitoes develop faster than females and are usually the first to emerge. Male mosquitoes don't normally travel far from the breeding site and they feed on plant juices and sugars from flowers and fruit nectars. The adult female also seeks out a sugar meal of nectar or similar plant juices to replenish expended energy and reserves, and then mates with a male, usually near a breeding site at dusk. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to check out some of my other videos. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe.